In the previous session, we had discussed the turn on and turn off characteristics and in this session, we will discuss the basics of commutation, different turn off methods and class A commutation method. First, we will discuss about the commutation. What is commutation? It is the process which is used to turn off SCR. The term commutation in SCR is to transfer current from one thyristor to another. A thyristor itself cannot turn off once it is conducting. The circuit in which it is connected should reduce the thyristor current to zero to turn it off. What are the methods by which a thyristor can be commutated? The two methods by which a thyristor can be commutated are as follows. First one is natural commutation, also called as line commutation and it uses AC supply. Second one, forced commutation, this uses DC supply. Natural commutation is the simplest and most widely used method of commutation. It makes use of the alternating reverse nature of AC voltages to affect the current transform. We know that in an AC circuit, the current always passes through zero every half cycle. As the current passes through zero, a reverse voltage will be simultaneously appear across the device. This immediately turns off the device. This process is called as natural commutation since no external circuit is used for this purpose. Next, we will look into forced commutation. Once the thyristors are operating in the on state, carrying forward current, they can only be turned off by reducing the current flowing through them to zero for sufficient time to allow the removal of charged carriers. In case of DC circuits, for switching of the thyristor, the forward current should be forced to zero by means of some external circuits. The process is called forced commutation and the external circuit required for this is known as commutation circuits. The components, inductance and capacitance which constitute the commutation circuits are called as commutation components. The classification of the methods of the forced commutation is based on the arrangement of the commutating components and the manner in which zero current is obtained in the SCR. There are six basic methods of commutation by which thyristors may be turned off. Now we will discuss one of the method that is class A commutation. Class A commutation or self commutation by resonating the load is also known as resonant commutation. Here the commutating components L and C is used to turn off the SCR. When the load resistance of very small value is used, at that time L and C are connected in series with the load as shown in the figure. Similarly, when the load resistance of high value is used, then the load resistance is connected across the capacitor as shown in the figure. In this process of commutation, the forward current passing through the device is reduced to less than the level of holding current of the device. Hence, this method is known as current commutation method. The waveforms of the thyristor voltage, current and capacitor voltages is shown in the figure. The load resistance RL and the commutating components are so selected so that their combination forms an underdamped resonant circuit. When such a circuit is excited by a DC source, a current of the nature shown in the figure is obtained. This current has zero value at the point K where the device is automatically turned off. Beyond the point K, the current is reversed in nature which assures definite commutation of the device. The thyristor when on carries only the charging current of capacitor C which will soon decay to a value less than the holding current of the device. And this happens when the capacitor C is charged up to the supply voltage EDC. This simultaneously switches off the thyristor. The time for switching of the device is determined by the resonant frequency which in turn 
depends on the values of the commutating components EL and C and the total resistance of the load. This type of commutation circuits are most suitable for high frequency operation that is above 1000 Hz because of the need for an LC resonant circuit which carries the full load current. So this is about the class A commutation. In the next session, we will discuss the class B commutation. Thank you. Happy learning. Thank you.